Okay, I'm showing you folks uh, the Bowman sag they call it. It's in the uh, clutch cable. Uh, they want it to be have a little bit of curve to it, not straight down, because uh, you don't get a uh, when you release the clutch, it doesn't come back properly. And they put the sag in it. You can see it sagging there with that. Um, I'll get a close up of it right there. Yeah. Anyhow, to get that sag, you put a washer in there. See where that right, right there, right where it comes um, out of the from the top. It uh, attaches to um, a brace there, and uh, uh, you have to, of course, remove your cable and that, and then you put your washer in. I tried um, three washers. It was far too much. Far, you couldn't even you couldn't even pull the uh, the clutch cable tight enough to get it hooked up to the um, to where it um, goes into the uh, uh, into the clutch housing there so anyhow I ended up with one washer worked out really good got, got the right sag and everything so there you go and I also put on some heavy-duty shocks they hold the car up about two inches higher in the back which is kind of nice these were quite difficult to uh, compress. I had to use uh, tie downs and then uh, just <laughs> tie, keep pulling them down until they compress and then finally when I got them in I had to cut the tie downs off. I couldn't get them off. That's all right. It was worth it. Anyhow, there you go. That's a Bowman, a Bowman sag they call it. Right. Fire. <laughs>